The other day I challenged you to learn all 12 of your major scales and to play them all in one breath. And it got me thinking back to the time when I first learned how to do this. <laughs> Quick shout out to my saxophone teacher at the time when I was about 14 years old, Steve Perillo, who gave me the same exercise I'm going to give to you today, which really made a significant impact on my playing straight away. I'm also going to give you some great tips on how to approach this so you can learn it quickly and get to that next level yourself. Very simply, if you're at all serious about playing the saxophone, learning your major scales in all 12 keys is something that should be very high on your list of things to get together quickly. If you follow the steps in this video, you should be able to learn this in a week's time and then have a quick way to run through all 12 of your scales. Here's how it works. We're going to start on C and play our C major scale up to the ninth scale degree, which is D. Then go back down, but instead of landing on C, the root again, we're going to end on the root of the next key up chromatically, which is D flat, and then repeat the cycle. <laughs> We play this exercise up to the ninth for two reasons. Number one, it makes everything fall quite nicely rhythmically. And number two, it gets us a step away from the square way of playing our major scale, which is just a root up to root and then back down again. Since we're going up chromatically, we start on C, which is a very easy key, but the very next key is D flat, which is one of the most difficult. Some of the keys are more difficult than others. So I want you to spend at least 80% of your practice time on the difficult keys. You don't need to practice the ones you already know that much. D flat, F sharp, A flat, and B are probably going to be the most challenging. Play each scale, you're working on slowly and on repeat like this. <laughs> do not, I repeat, do not allow yourself to play with any mistakes. We are working on developing muscle memory here. Your muscles are going to remember to do whatever it is that you're repeating. So if you are playing the same mistakes over and over again, guess what? That's what you're training yourself to do. Do yourself a favor and save yourself a bunch of time. Play this as slowly as you need to in order to not have any mistakes. You'll learn the whole thing much faster, I promise. Once you know all 12 keys and can play them without mistakes, it's time to put the whole thing together. But don't try to do all 12 together at the same time time all at once. I recommend that you start out by grouping them in two. So let's say you take C and D flat and loop those two around. <laughs> doing this until you've covered all groups of two scales a half step apart. You can also take this to the next level and practice groups of threes. <laughs> if you're making any mistakes or find yourself not able to keep steady rhythm, go slower. I highly recommend that you work with a metronome, set it slow enough so that you can play with good technique and solid rhythm. Remember, you're training your muscles to do what you're repeating over and over again. Spend some time on this every day, and when you're ready, try to go through all 12. Doing this all in one breath is a great challenge because you're gonna have to learn how to fill up your air tank completely and how to use that air consistently and efficiently. You're also gonna have to learn how to play with good, clean, fast technique. I decided to challenge myself and do this on battery sacks because that takes a lot more air than alto or tenor does. I've made a PDF download of this entire exercise written out for you and I put it in the Better Sax Shed along with all my other free saxophone learning resources. Click the link in the description to get access to all that stuff. I'd love to hear your progress on this exercise. So film yourself playing it, post it to Instagram, tag Better Sax, and use the hashtag Better Sax Challenge. I will share any of those to my story and leave you a nice comment. Thanks for watching. I strongly recommend you now watch this video over here, which is gonna help you with some alternate fingerings so you get the 
best, most efficient way to play each one of these scales. <laughs>